So, Dwayne, what do you think? Are they actually going to be able to gain market share? Yeah, right now everyone is are fighting for customers because people aren't eating out more these days. They're kind of holding back a bit. So the question is, how do we steal it from the next guy? And so Olive Garden had been looking at some of the reasons why their sales had been lagging. And one of the things they determined one was of the things they came up with is we don't have burgers. That's right. People like their burgers. So they came up with their own. What about this idea of brand fidelity in the sense that it's really supposed to be an Italian chain? I mean, they have that whole series. They actually have spent a lot on marketing and advertising. When you're here, you're like family and you see this intergenerational sort of, I don't know, mimicked Italian dinner, right? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the issues for them is how do you go and get market share but kind of stay to your roots without muddling the process. But also it just becomes tricky when it comes to managing those menus and managing your costs and everything that comes with a wider menu. So that's another area that they have to really be careful of when they take these kind of moves. And of course they did it with a lot of with some consumer research. So Duane, I mean I know it's a much smaller piece of the puzzle. It's not at all comparable as far as size goes, but they're also competing, especially in large cities with Bobby Flay's Burger Palace or with Danny Meyer or Shake Shack, and again, that's only in highly concentrated urban areas, but still, I mean, people get used to that kind of quality and that kind of kitschy service. Are they really going to go to Chili's and Applebee's, or is it just apples and oranges? Yeah, well, I mean, look, a lot of consumers are looking for ways to eat out something interesting, but that's not going to break the wallet. So a place like Olive Garden is somewhere where perhaps you can go get this new Italian burger with arugula lettuce and this special sauce and, uh, and actually not have to pay an arm and a leg. But then special again... Special sauce <laughs> sounds really scary to me. Yeah, like, it's their own take on special Special sauce. is not exactly the word I want to hear with sauce. Yeah. What about, um, speaking of tastes, so Coke and Pepsi trying out a new ingredient, is that right? Yeah, well, look, Coke and Pepsi are trying to figure out ways to get people to drink more soft drinks, uh, especially as people get older, they drink less sugary drinks. One way to do that is cut the sugar, and they've done that through these kind of Yeah, but what are they putting colors. in? Some wacky chemicals? Well, that's the thing. Some, they do hybrids with sugar and other things now. Now they've figured out a way to possibly have a chemical that would allow that sweet taste to come through stronger. It's a lot like what they did with salt, what PepsiCo, its Frito-Lay division did with salt, when they re-engineer the salt to just hit you better so that they can use less. What does that mean for their business? Is this sugar hybrid cheaper? Is it more expensive? How much testing do they have to go through? Does it go through the FDA? I mean, how much of it is a hassle for the business side? Yeah, typically with these new ingredients, you go to the FDA and ask for it to be recognized as safe, generally recognized as safe. So you, you'll probably see that kind of process happening here. But uh, it's very proprietary, these uh, ingredients. A lot of science behind it, and they team up with other science companies to do them. When you talk about proprietary, I mean, interesting that they're both doing it, right? Because I still remember the Coke versus Pepsi, these blind taste tests, but you're saying in this case, both Coke and Pepsi are just essentially having the same idea at the same time. Well, a key distinction is that Coca-Cola seems to be more interested in Stevia, the all, the all natural, no calorie sweetener, whereas PepsiCo seems to be going more this route of how do we boost the, so if we put sugar in, how do we boost that to make it sweeter without having to add the sugar and maybe be able to take some sugar away? So we'll drink Coke. And when are these new products supposed to be out? Uh, well, right now they could come out next year. Ingenui, the PepsiCo CEO, the CEO of PepsiCo, has been saying it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, but we don't really know.